breaking news update on yesterday's video. So according to Orlando Informer, the opening date that is tentatively being given out is June 5th to the general public at Universal Orlando. I, I, I don't know about you, but like getting with this morning, we've got a potential a date of June 1st for Legoland. Now we've got a potentially opening on June 5th for general public. And if you are an annual pass holder, there is a, according to the article on orlandoinformer.com that I will link in the description below, um, they, it says, the first paragraph, I'm going to read it from the article. After closing the theme and water parks of its Universal Orlando Resort back on the night of Sunday, March 15th, man, that was a long time ago, Universal has today submitted plans to the Orange County Economic Recovery Task Force to reopen on Monday, June 1st for team members and with limited annual pass holder attendance on the 3rd and 4th and a full opening on June 5th. That actually makes a lot of sense to me. Um, that means that June 1st and 2nd, it will be um, new trainings and, you know, procedural things for team members or just, you know, letting them go have, run wild in the parks. I mean, gosh, if they don't deserve it, who does? Um, then annual pass holders the 3rd and 4th, which totally makes sense. I mean, they, they, like, they pay a lot to be an annual pass holder. And then full opening on June 5th. Um, it, it says those plans should be noted, aren't set in stone just yet. It's the first step, um, the date having to be approved by Orange County Mayor Jerry Demings and Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer before ultimately moving to onto the desk of Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. Um, I think that even if things get pushed off a little bit from this, like this original information, that we at least have some sort of opening date for Universal, and that's fantastic to me. Um, this, this to me gives hope that hopefully maybe, you know, sometime in the month of June, we're going to get some sort of information from Disney on when they will be opening their parks. And I'm reading through um, the article as I'm kind of talking to you. Um, it talks about how they opened up um, CityWalk. Um, and so that's, that's kind of the general information that we have right now. Like I said, I did get this information from OrlandoInformer.com. I will link um, their, um, the, 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 the article from online in the description below. <sighs> I'm excited about this, guys. I mean, I I don't know about you, but again, it gives me hope that we're going to hear something from Disney, hopefully, um, in the upcoming weeks. And, 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 if we actually get this open on June 5th, as we, as the, um, the article states, maybe we'll start getting some information about Halloween Horror Nights. I know, Right? So that's it. Let me know what you think in the description below. Um, I do request that we all keep it, um, like positive or, or, I mean, I understand that not everyone's going to have the same opinion on the parks opening, but please keep it polite and, um, be courteous. I will delete comments if I have to. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you later. Bye.